What's good there? I'm trying to do this uh, sci-fi express thing and I want to express myself. So welcome to Sci-Fi Express. My name is Jeff Carroll and um, today I'm going to be expressing my thoughts on what would be the behavior on a real black planet. Um, and or I guess or um, a planet with black people, right? How would we behave? And um, I think this is something that sci-fi writers have to, specifically black sci-fi writers, but all sci-fi writers, whenever they're coming up with a plan with black people, how are they going to behave? And one of the questions that you have to ask is, what is the behavior of black people, right? Um, do we behave like old Egyptians, right? Do we behave like Africans? Do we behave like gangsters and thugged out American black people um do we behave like michelle obama educated your western influenced black people right um the babars of the black people right i'm probably one of them you know off to college speaking good english and not knowing anything about african culture of its significance you know wearing chinese dashikis is that going to be the definition of what black is, you know, um, and I feel bad because I feel the same way. What is Haiti? What is Haitian culture, Jamaican culture, Dominican culture, Trinidadian culture, uh, Puerto Rican culture? It ain't Taino, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then and then and compared to Africa, is that you know these places is less than a hundred years old in terms of name? right? Well, maybe Haiti is 200 years old, but even there, 200 is not a long time in, in history of, of, of black people, right? So, what? how do those black people on another planet behave in a relatable way, right, to how we behave on Earth? And when I say a relatable bit way, yeah, they could be a whole another life form, you know, um, but we want them to be black, so some element of black, right? This is catering to the consumer population, right? To your readers, to your audience. What would black be? You know what I'm saying? So of the accepted behaviors of black people on earth, you know, how do they behave? Do they behave like a small tribe of black people um, in Jamaica, right? which is a Western impacted, you know, post-slavery, post-slave trade culture fragmented from Africa, or do they go back to Africa? And we just, yo, we straight un-kidnapped um, African culture. No Arab invasion, none of that. We straight there. Is that our definition of black? Here's, here's how I did it in the Welcome to Boss Ladies Planet. Um, I allow my black people to be futuristic. So slavery and all that is on the table. America is all on the table. We're post post America. We post Haiti, post Dominican Republic. So all that becomes history, you know. So I'm dealing with a future this earth. But in reality, that's not the only story, you know. Could you do uh, like in my story, Cannabis Man? Man, there is black people that exist and left Earth before the tr slave trade, before the fall of Egypt, right? So how did they behave? You know, would we consider them black? How would they behave in relations? Or do we just scratch all of that, right? And not even have it deal necessarily with Earth. We drop in and out of it without any kind of relationship to Earth, and we say, all right, we're gonna deal with Star Wars, we're gonna do Mace Windu, you know, and we're not even gonna explain how they get and use some of the same verbal behaviors that we use now. Like, Star Wars is funny because it's a long, long time ago, but they talk with things that we are using right now. 
be like, damn, did we did we re um, create the same dialogue that we had before? How the hell did we do that? And not, not to mention, some of the sayings they say in Star Wars are byproducts of impacts of African people and European people. And we know that didn't happen by accident. That happened through slavery. So how do they say some of those things? You know, how do you explain a Mace Windu character, you know, talking similar to how black people talk here in the post-slavery and kidnapped America? How do you how do you explain that? It's crazy. So um, that's a question that we have to ask in this: um, What is black? What is the black people? What do, how do people on, on, on a black planet behave? So that's it. And I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking, I'm asking the question. So I don't know. I'll probably say what we, what you would do is, um, uh, um, use whatever works for the story. Um, Cannabis man, they were Egyptians that left. So that's why, that's an easy answer, right? Um, they, they have some pre-dynastic period, you know, early Imhotep era before the Persian sites and, and, and the others invaded Africa. So we're not dealing with any um, Julius Caesar love affair with Nefertiti type um, African, um, we're dealing with Nubian, early Nubian Empire, Egypt, right? So that's easy for that. But, you know, out of the blue Africa, where did they, where did they come from? Where did they, um, how did they exist? Like, what is, like, outside of that? That's interesting. And I don't know the answer. So that's kind of why I'm just asking these billions of questions. Because I think it is important. Somebody's got to speculate about that um, for us to kind of have an answer on that. You know, um, not an answer, but I think they need to think about what are the implications on whatever they come up with as an answer. That's what I think. You know, I don't think it's just something that, oh, they talk, you know, you got a hood planet. Because I heard, a, um, I may use this. Now we're getting into new usable material, right? So I said, I live in um, South Florida, right? So um, they call it uh, Miami. They call it Miami the Magic City. And I was like, damn, that sounds so urban, right? So black. I mean, maybe white culture called uh, Miami Magic City, but I'm thinking somebody, this is like, you know, Magic City is a damn strip club, so that's what I'd be thinking of. And I think that's in Atlanta, but I don't go to strip clubs, so I probably wouldn't be the best person. But I'm thinking that's where it came from. So I'm like, damn, dude, you know, I was thinking about Magic Planet. You know what I'm saying? A lucky planet, a planet that's full of parties and having fun and or just has that reputation. What if planets had reputations like that? That would be interesting. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know. I'm just... This is Express Myself, the Sci-Fi Express. So I am expressing myself, God damn it! <laughs> I hope that's not against YouTube's language restrictions, right? Um, but um, yeah, so I'm just expressing myself. I, you know, have another one that I'm gonna do on what to expect when you go to a comic book convention because I have a friend of mine that just went to his first comic book convention and we, we are black men, so he's going to experience a lot of things for the first time. And it made me revisit um, kind of how I was introduced to comic books. All right. So anyway, how do black people behave on a black planet? I have no idea. All I know is I think it's a judgment on black people if you make them either uh, behave like... Um, gangsters and 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 other uh westernized colonized uh post slavery africans that 
I don't know if I'm going to like that. And that's me. That's like behaving like me. So I don't know if I'm going to like me on another planet. And I don't know how I feel about that. So anyway, here we go. I express myself. Sci-Fi Express Lane, baby. I'm out. Jeff.